Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Midnight Hollow part... Part... Um... <laughs> um... I don't know. I don't know what part this is. Um... I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Alrighty, so in the last part, you know, we just did like a little bit of makeovers and we adopted the kittens. We adopted Indigo and Benji. And when they grow up, they are going to have babies. Um, so what I wanted to do was have Abigail actually come outside today and begin inventing. Start dabbling a little bit um, back here. Um, also, I have had... I. This is how I need to start filming videos. I need to have some coffee in me. I have a strawberry, not a strawberry, a coffee culotta in me right now. And I am like pumped. I'm like ready to film. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's going to come back here and work on some dabbling. Attend a free game at the stadium before time runs out to improve school performance. We will accept that. We are... We take free stuff. Enough said. And now, where's uh, the stadium? Let's actually take a look at what that looks like. Um, I'm kind of curious. Right here. I think we looked at this before. It's, like, very old. It kind of reminds me of, like, like, like a performance hall. So we need to come back Saturday or Sunday between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. That is so far away. Abigail has run out of scrap to work with. I don't think there's, like, scrap yards here. Um, so we're going to have to go ahead and uh, edit the town really quick and put down some, a little scrap shop. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll put it right here. Is there a junkyard right here? Let's go ahead and place that junkyard. For those who don't know, like, you go to the junkyard and pretty much just, like, dig up junk. You find metal, and that's what your sims do. Um, in the future, I will be doing an Ambitions LP, so you guys will get, like, the full effect of that. Uh, in the future, I, for, I get a lot of questions like, are you going to do this LP? Are you going to do this LP? I plan on doing every single sims LP there is. So... Also, I get a lot of questions, a lot of questions asking about late night and if I'm going to bring that back or if I'm ever going to finish it and the answer is totally yes, I will be finishing it. I just, um, that's good. I needed like a break from it. I kind of ran out of ideas, but I, now that I look at it, I'm like, there was so much to do. So yes, in the future, I will be encoring late night for those who are wondering, um, it's a great, great expansion pack. So, most definitely. Now, where did I place that scrap shop? I don't even remember. And, like, I just put it down. Literally just put it down. Um, alright, well, this is a little awkward. Here it is. I love how I didn't even fix the grass. It was, like, bright green grass everywhere. If Levy doesn't fix his work performance soon, he will face disciplinary action. Oh, jeez. He needs to... Oh, he needs to work on his gardening. That's what he needs to do. And he hasn't been tending his garden either. So. Who is she? Oh, she's cute. She's like a little nerd, but not really. Oh, hot. Hot. Look at her. Oh my god, like a little mini skirt, a little tube top. She's killing it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go home garden. And I do think Levy is going to have a little affair. I know some people are like, you're gonna ruin a perfect family. Thing is, about Midnight Hollow, kind of like, what I want to do with it is I want to give it that just like messed up vibe to the whole thing. Like, Midnight Hollow is supposed to be filled with different crazy messed up insane sims and that's kind of like what i want to go for you know there's always something up with every family always something wrong i think no family's perfect you know unless 
you're my neighbors because my neighbors are literally perfect and it kills me. It kills me. Like, they, I don't know how they do it, but they just, like, their whole life style seems so perfect. Scold her. What did she do wrong? What did Danny do? Hold on. Oh, Levy, you're such a douche. All right, let's come over to Abigail and have her, um, why can't you dig through it? There's nothing left to dig. What? Try again later. Here, come dig through this little one. Let's see. Like, if I take a good look at this, what do I see? I see a broken satellite, a tire, um, some gears, and I think a toilet piece and a stool. That's pretty much all I see. All right, Levi. Levi, Levy, Levi, Levy, Levi, Levi, it's Levi, not Levy, Levi, how do I not know my own Sims names, it's Levi guys, I've been saying Levy, but it's Levi, guys, I think it's official, I think I am like one of the dumbest people ever, I think it's official, oh my god, is it, are you serious right now, are you kidding me? What did Becca do? Stop being, Mommy, stop being such a douchebag. For the last time, go tend your garden. If you say it again, I so, I have had it. Go take a time out. What did she do? I'm about to kill you. Leave her alone. She had a bad day already. Look at her. She had detention. Oh, oh yeah. She uh, broke into the school. Leave her alone, you little croaker. Is that a word? <laughs> Leave her alone. Really, though. Poor Danny, too. She's in trouble as well. Danny, why don't you go play with Indigo for, like, a little bit? Kittens always make everything better. Give her a little aw, feed her a treat. Let her, no, uh, chase her around. We're going to praise her for being goofy. I can't wait to do a pet LP. Like, I can't wait to actually get a horse. You know what I mean? Like, that is so much fun. That's the one thing I like about pets is there is so much to do with, you, you know, the horses and the equestrian training and everything. That's what I'm excited for. So, and the fact that I can have, like, little cowgirls, that's pretty exciting as well. Why don't you go clean up, and maybe your dad won't be such a rude little, ugh. Alright, did you? Alright, he did all of that, cool. Why don't we go ahead and open this up, and put all of our stuff in there. Cool. All right, Abigail's on her way home. She has 19 pieces of scrap. Yay. You go, girl. Ooh, she almost died. All right. So she's going to head home now, and I think I'm going to have Levi. Oh, a full moon. How fun. I like full moons in Midnight Hollow. Not so much in my generation's LP, <laughs> but in Midnight Hollow, it's definitely going to be interesting. Um, actually... Uh-oh, I think Indigo has an upset stomach. Nauseous. Indigo isn't feeling so hot. You may want to keep her around the bathroom from eating too fast. Story of my life, to be honest. Actually, I'm a pretty slow eater. Like, I eat with my eyes. Like, I order way too much food just because I want food. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, give him, a, like, a little kiss. And then he's going to go out and cheat on his wife. As crazy as that sounds, like... He's going to give his wife a little kiss, and then we're going to go cheat on her. I know. I know. It's crazy. And what a perfect place to go find a little woman than the golden ticket shop. While we're there, we can maybe pick up some toys and sell them for some money. Ew. Alright. Boy, what are you doing? Why are you wearing- What are you doing? Go. Stop being a weirdo. He keeps changing his outfit, like, every single step he takes. Go somewhere. You're leaving your family home on a full moon. They're probably like, oh, dad's gonna go work out. Jokes. 
He's going to find a little, a little girl. That sounds even creepier. He's not going to find a little girl. He's going to go find a woman who's adorable if we can find one. Oh, I liked how she looked. I feel like she has like a really pretty face. Okay, she is freaking beautiful. Let me get at that, please. Wow, give her a friendly introduction. She is so hot. Like, she's so pretty. Her name's Odessa, my supernatural LP. <laughs> oh, are you seriously? Serious? Wait, what? Are you serious? It's closed already. This might take a little bit longer than I hoped. But we're going to ask her sign. Um, Ask her if she's single. Compliment her beautiful appearance. Compliment her personality. Give her a nice little pickup line and flirt with her a little bit. It is a full moon, and I'm telling you, there was a full moon the other night. And I was so hyper and crazy. I swear, full moons do something to you. Like, they, like, change the way you think. I don't know. Maybe that's all just a theory. I know magnetic forces are stronger when it's a full moon, but... Alright, she seems, uh, oh, she's flirty. Perfect. Great. Oh, cool. Cool. Awesome. Ratchet. Oh, she's an old woman zombie. How cute. Uh, we're gonna give her a little flirtatious joke. Um, confess our attraction to her because she's so beautiful. Wink at her. Blow her a kiss. Odessa thinks Levi is being extremely irresistible. It's Levi, guys. It's Levi. Not Levi. It's Levi. Wow. She likes it. She likes it. Give her a nice little hug. Oh, she didn't like that. Oh. He's like, are you serious? Like, I'm beautiful. Confess your attraction again. Give her some romantic red flower. Okay, stop it. Stop being so rude. Give her some flowers. Are you serious? Apologize to her. Get to know her. Chat with her. I don't care if you're hungry, Levi. You're talking to her. She's so pretty. I mean, Abigail's beautiful, too, but we need to have a little mistress, right? This is Midnight Hollow. It's like, it is a full moon. It's shooting stars. And yeah. What am I talking about? Um, let's give her another pickup line. No, you get back over here. I don't care if it's 11 p.m. at night. Get over here. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? Stop. Oh, I think she's going to the bathroom. Well, this conversation continues in the bathroom. It's a little bit more private anyways. Right. Because he, she thinks he's being extremely irresistible. Oh. Confess our attraction to her. Give her some ro romantic red flowers now. Oh, she likes them. It matches her hair. Give her a little flirtatious joke. Flirt with her again. Maybe a lun lunic embrace. It is a full moon. Oh, mm. Levi, you are. What a little. Mm. I'm making him do this, but you know, I still get that like hatred for people who do that. But you know, leap into her arms. Maybe give her a kiss. Pick a spot in town and create street art. We will do that. She's like, okay, if this is your turn on, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, what a diss. 
Oh, a Nandi Dooler. <laughs> oh, stop it. All right, well, we're going to hook up with her another night. Whatever. The cheating has begun, to be honest. Zombie attack. Oh, I should have let it happen. Maybe it will happen again. Maybe if we just stand here. He can get attacked. Yeah, it looks like she wants to attack us again. Come on over, little old woman. Come, come touch me. Come bite me. We're waiting. She's like a pilgrim. Oh my gosh, yes. I love pilgrims. She couldn't even do it. Zombie attack again? Just do it already. Becca is in such a bad mood. Becca, why don't you eat? Nobody is going to bed today. Why? Why did everybody decide we're not going to go to bed? Is it the full moon? Maybe. Yeah, look, Abigail's still awake too. Is the baby even in bed? No, put Gage in his crib. When does he grow up? Five days. Becca, you need to eat. See, I leave the house for just a little while. And these Sims can't even care for themselves. He's like, I'm home and I worked out. He comes home in his athletic wear. Of course. But why don't you try to woohoo with Abigail real quick? He's so exhausted. He smells, he's hungry, and he needs to pee. But a woohoo is a woohoo. So we're going to try to woohoo. She said, uh-uh, I smell another girl on you. Or I just smell ratchet right now. So, no. Abigail, go to sleep. You can do better than him. All right, Becca's in bed. Uh, Levi is using the restroom. I'm going to shower. Um, eat a cake slice. And then go to bed. I will get back to you guys in the morning, and I think he's going to take the day off, because look, look at that. That is so bad. He needs to spend um, the day at home, like, researching, gardening, and stuff. Yeah. I will get back to you guys in the morning. Alrighty, so I'm going to have Abigail go ahead and wake up now. Uh, Levi is taking the day off of work to sleep in and um, work on his gardening skill. Um, today I'm gonna have Abigail clean up the house a little bit and go make some toys so we can make some money because we definitely need to um, so let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit we'll make the girls bed we'll make Danny's bed and uh, yeah let's have them slack off in school they seem like they're having a hard day um, she's really hungry hmm. she's at a field trip cool all right, Abigail, why don't you go ahead to the, the 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 golden ticket shop? I will never be able to find stuff in this town, I swear. All right, so let's head here and uh, make some toys with the Titanic toy machine that I would highly recommend from the store. So uh, let's make some um, kind of expensive things. We're going to make... Um, couple of dollhouses and then sell them. All right. And then we're going to go do some street art for a little while. Becca, put down that knife. Ooh. All righty, let's go ahead and sell those really quick. Three dollhouses. Worth 300 simoleons each. Oh yes, sell these ladybugs and stuff in here. All right, cool. Uh, I think we can make a couple of more. Let's uh, yeah, make a couple more dollhouses really quick. We'll make three more. And if you are looking to make money really fast, oh not teddy bears, crap. Um, then I would highly recommend doing this. Um, you make money insanely fast. And it's definitely, oh, that's cool. It's definitely a fast way to make it. All right, so we're gonna have her actually go get some food really quick. Um, let's see, where's the bistro? It's somewhere around here. Uh, we'll have her go to the diner. And 
Yes, I'm gonna have, oh, Becca's in bed, Danny's about to go to sleep as well, so, um, in this part, our family has come nocturnal as well, Gage smells, um, Abigail's just gonna go get some food really quick, and, um, do her street art, and then she's gonna head home, but I'm gonna have Levi go ahead and wake up now, take care of Gage real quick, change his diaper, even though he's probably gonna cry for changing his diaper. Um, we're gonna tickle him, snuggle him, and then feed him on the floor. Um, let's go ahead and sell those other toys really quick. And we'll give the kids a teddy bear. That's fun. Oh. Guess we have to be home to place it. We also need to come home and work on our inventions, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and take care of the kids really quick. I'm surprised Levi is even touching um, Gage. Answer your phone. It's annoying. <laughs> oh, he's talking to Odessa. Ooh, Odessa would like to talk. We would love to talk. <laughs> All right, uh, she's eating right now, and then once, um, I think I'm gonna have Levi, Levy, 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 <laughs> go ahead and uh, order some pizza, he doesn't know how to cook, he doesn't want to cook, he just wants those kids to put food in his mouth, in their mouth, and shut up, so, we're gonna do that. He wants to come good friends with Odessa. <laughs> oh, you will. Oh, you will. My goal is for him to get with at least, like, three girls. That's, like, my goal. Maybe two. Maybe two. Two or three girls, and I'll be happy. Um, because this LP is actually ending on Monday. Um, yeah. I'll be uploading quite a few Midnight Hollows, so you guys will just have to wait and see what happens, right? See what happens and see if Abigail finds out. Who, it, what, is she digging through the trash? She's dumpster diving right now. Oh my gosh. Oh no. She found gold while she was in there. Are you kidding me? I love her so much. And I love this animation. Oh my gosh. A Japanese beetle was found. Awesome. <laughs> You're something else. Alright, let's go ahead and do some street art. We're gonna do a ground mural right here. She's nauseous from doing dumpster diving. How she hasn't got caught, it's beyond me. Everyone in town will enjoy seeing your art. Abigail has earned 1,000 simoleons and increased her street art skill. Um, Benji Moon just freaked out at Danny for who knows what reason. Sheesh, Benji is such a weirdo. Okay, okay. We're going to have Abigail actually. Before she heads home, I wanted to go to the alchemy shop and see if there's anything new in there. So let's head to Elixir. Elixir's? Elixir's? <laughs> oh, Elixir's? <laughs> wow. Uh, Elixir shop. I am too much right now. And go see if there's anything new in there. Let's go buy some stuff. We smell terrible, but whatever. We're Abigail. We can do what we want. Alright, we, we have a little bit of money today. Ooh, a tragic clown, hmm, flask of angry bees, you might get one of those for a, for a little man, um, I really want to get this, uh, origin of the tragic clown, a clown costume in a bottle, warning, may cause depression, um, for those who don't know, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. This was like the Sims 1, um, tragic clown, and he would come and just be crazy and annoying. 
So, we will definitely have to try to get that. So we're gonna go ahead and purchase uh, the flask of angry bees. We're gonna go ahead and smoke the box and harvest those honeys that we smoked in the last part, or actually fed them. So we can hopefully get some bee wax now. Yep, we're getting some honey. Sweeten up a dessert with some honey. Yummy, yum, yums. All right, so we're gonna head home now. And we will use the flask of the angry bees um, when, if Abigail finds out, I don't know. It might get spread around town. Alrighty guys, actually you know what? Becca is fed up with it. She keeps getting yelled at by her dad and she's so done with it. So she's gonna throw it on Levi. She's so done. You are in big trouble, lady. You better not do that again. Maybe you should help around the house to get on my good side. She's so done. And she's not sorry about it. Run to the shower. Run to the shower. Nope, you're good. Bee sting. Ouch, stupid bee. It was able to defend itself somehow from being attacked. He wants to send a love letter to Odessa, and we will send her a little love letter before we end this. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Um, he is really happy. Oh my goodness. I am going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be having more uh, Midnight Hollow coming today, by the way, um, because I am trying to get up as much videos as possible. Um, so yeah, Midnight Hollow will be ending Monday, so today I expect quite a few parts of Midnight Hollow. But I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.